everything about the load balancer their basic concept and everything we'll learn in this video the first question comes in mind what is this load balancer it is the device that acts as a reverse proxy and distributes the network and application traffic across the servers load balancers are used to increase the capacity and reliability of the applications it improves the overall performance of the application by decreasing the burden on the servers this is the main working of the load balancer now there are total two types of load balancer the first one is layer 4 load balancers second one is layer 7 load balancers layer 4 load balancers are work on the transport layer network protocol that is ip tcp udp and ftp whereas layer 7 load balancer are work on the http and https protocol now just for our understanding or just to know the concept of load balancer we will just discuss about the invention of this load balancers previously when this internet was invented or the www this our websites or web servers are invented there were only mainframe servers and which is very very costly server which is big servers and the problem was there were no any web server available before as 400 e everybody couldn't afford the mainframe servers because as they are very 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 costly suppose there are startups so they, they couldn't afford the such a types of heavy server so what they use or they they should go with the ubiquity pc manufacturers systems which is the off the shelf server like our normal pcs but the problem was if the number of request or the number of traffic get increase then these species are not able to handle or they, these species are not capable to handle the large amount of data traffic so they started to clusterizing and everything but the problem was to segregate the traffic over all these servers and hence at this position or at this point the load balancer born in simple way we can say that the three key responsibilities of the uh, load balancers are the first one is the scalability the second one is the high availability and the third one is the predictability now i will explain you one by one what do you mean by scalability i would like to give you one example already knows the big billion day sales so before that day before the sale day you might know that 1000 users per day uh, getting connected with the particular website and on that the sell day 1 million public or 1 million people get reached to the particular website so within that night or within distance of the one day they cannot create the 1000 servers so it's the auto scaling servers the which which automatically creates when traffic goes increase so at that time our load balancer also have to serve website properly or the request properly by uh, coordinating with all these servers and we it has to deliver equal traffic to the equal server so this comes under the scalability if you have to 10 servers then it should load balancer should deliver the request or the uh, operate this request equally and the servers get increased to the thousands or hundreds then also it has served the properly so this is this comes under the scalability what do you mean by high availability suppose there are 3 to 4 servers and one one of them gets down it crashed at the place of that uh, damaged server new server should be created and automatically it gets uh, configured and everything will be done and then again for the new server this load balancer should distribute the equal load so this comes under the high availability at any cost if any server goes down then at the place of that damaged server the new server gets created and again this process should be continue so this comes under the high availability now the third option is the predictability or the third point is predictability in predictability if any server is getting uh, overloaded so alert should be generated that this server is utilizing the more than 70% or the 80% amount of cpus and we should redirect some of the traffic from this server to the another server this server should not get the more traffic such a types of predictions should be generated by the load balancer and load balancer generate such a alerts that's why these are three key responsibilities or the three key points of the load balancers now we'll see how load balancer work like if load balancers are there suppose uh, it is hardware or software but it should or it is working on some of the algorithms so what are that algorithms or what are they so there are total four types of algorithms the first one is round robin load balancing the second one is weighted load balancing the third one is list connection load balancing and the fourth one is list response time load balancing so i will explain you one by one 
so first we will discuss the first uh, algorithm that is the round robin in round robin what happens suppose there are three servers and users are trying to reach to particular website suppose google.com first request comes then algorithm checks the servers and this uh, request should be sent to the server a then next request comes like uh, another user trying to access the google.com then this request load balancer forwarded to the server b when the third user trying to access the google.com then this load balancer will redirect the third user's request to the server c this algorithm what does if the fourth request come then again it will redirect that request to the server a and then again for, for the next request it will redirect to the server b and then server c and continuously it, it is uh, repeating this task like server a server b server c server a server b and server c so repeatedly uh, this uh, assigns this request to the particular server and this is known as the round robin load balancing algorithm the second one is weighted round robin or weighted load balancing i will give you one scenario or the basic example suppose there are again three servers server a server b and server c and server a has the maximum capacity to serve the 15 requests per second server b has the capacity of serving 10 requests per second and server c has the capacity of serving 5 requests per second it will assign the three requests to the server a then the two requests to the server b and the only one request to the server c as we can check the ratio of this server's capacity that is 5 as to 10 as to 15 so accordingly it will assign that request to the particular server then the next algorithm is the list connection load balancing this algorithm checks which server has the least number of active connection suppose server a server b and again server c has different different uh, active requests then this algorithm checks this server a has how many active requests server b has how many active requests server c has how many active requests and then it will assign the request to the particular server which has the least number of active connection and suppose server a has five requests server b has the four requests and server c has the five request again then this algorithm will assign the request to the server b and then it will check again check which server has the uh, least number of active connection once get the new request and accordingly it will assign to the particular server this will done by the round robin manner like see it, it is again checking and checking the servers which server has the least number of active connection so it is working on the least number of active connection along with the round robin manner the last one algorithm is the least response time algorithm it checks which server has the best capacity or the best response time and it will assign the particular request to that server which is very fast suppose there are three servers server a server b and server c server a has four number of active connection server b has two number of active connection and server c has zero active connections it means that server c is totally free and response time wise uh, if we if we check then server a has very slow response then server b has some someone better response time as compared to server a and server c has very best response time it is very quick server then what this algorithm does this algorithm will assign the next request to the least response time server along with it is checking that which has the least number of active connections as i already told you the server a has the four number of active connections server b has two active connection and server c has no any active connection with response time we can consider c has the one response time likewise it is very quick then server b has response time we can call as a two lower than the server c and server a has very high response time like it is very slow server if the request comes then algorithm checks which server has very quick response time then it finds that the c has server c has very quick response time then it, it will assign that request to the server c server c has zero active connection so that this algorithm will assign the first request to the server c the scenario is server c has the one active connection server b has the two active connection and server a has the four active connection with this same response time like c has the one b has two and a has three so again when next request comes then algorithm again check which server has the least response time also which server has the least number of active connection then again c has the least response time and least number of active connection so again the second request will assign to the server c now when the third request comes then it will again check which server has the least number of active connection as well as the least response time then obviously server c and server b has the equal number of active connection that is two and two 
but server C has the least response time that is it is very quick so it can serve more quickly so this algorithm will assign this third number of requests to the server C now if you check the server C has three number of active connections server B has two number of active connections server A has four number of active connection now in this scenario if the fourth request comes then algorithm will check which server has the least response time with least number of active connection then server B has the least number of active connection then this request request will be assigned to the server B again and this scenario is going again and again and again this algorithm will check which server has the maximum capacity and the least number of active connection and accordingly it will assign that particular load or particular request or traffic to the particular server these are the types of the load balancer algorithm or we can simply say that the load balancers are defined or their types are defined by their algorithms also there are uh, application layers load balancer HTTP and HTTPS also but we'll discuss that applications uh, load balancers in different video this is it for now if you are new to the channel then go to the channel knowledge modulation and don't forget to subscribe also like this video share this video with your friends so that they will also add some knowledge on their knowledge base thank you guys keep watching